I'll try to do my best in order to show students and show the community the roots and the spirit of the Cuban culture. Cuba is a small country, really small. We created more than 85 different styles of popular music. So in cultural terms, Cuba is a, a very important place. He opened up the rehearsals with his Afro-Cuban All-Stars so students could uh, get a taste of what a touring band, how hard they work and what they need to do to put a show on. He of course taught his weekly lecture class, uh, which was a wonderful opportunity and a truly interdisciplinary opportunity and at the outreach to the community as well. To have a family, uh, like his family, coming together as a unit, sitting in his lectures, uh, giving a lot of love, um, it's something that's just really unique. The Division of Continuing Studies has been offering a class this fall on Cuban classical music, and the class has been led by Luceria Gonzalez, Juan de Marcos's daughter, who is a, a musician and a conductor and a composer, and her sister Laura Gonzalez has also been playing the class. This kind of music is difficult for whoever wasn't born in the island. It's difficult to follow up the syncopation, and they have done it. I'm actually in that class. It is wonderful! <laughs> Even if we're playing in keys that are really hard for string players, but it's good for us. This is the first time that I'm going to be for so long time working with students, which is great. Already I was going to take it because it's like, he's an incredible musician and like a legend. But then also I knew that I was going to be able to get like, some like technical know-how that I like have been working to try to get towards. Lo and behold, here I am making music with the great uh, Juan DeMarcos, a legend. I'm just trying to learn how to play music and record music a little better. It's like a once in a lifetime experience to be able to work with somebody like that. To be able to also have this access of a professional recording studio and live musicians. We're gonna have people bring in songs and we're gonna work them out together. And we're gonna try to get as many songs as we can done. We've been uh, working together on recordings that's been, that have been collaborative and um, across genres. We kind of all send each other demos of songs that we start to work on. And then we try and divvy up the studio time we have to like lay down parts and get the songs made. We've gotten to kind of just watch this process of mediating genre and mediating what we want from a project with what we have the means to do. This is the Wisconsin idea. We have people from all walks and slices of life. We're here to celebrate internationally recognized, renowned artist Juan de Marcos Gonzalez. It was a really great opportunity for the School of Music to strengthen ties and to build bridges both within the School of Music, but even more importantly, I think, for the students in the School of Music to work with other student performers, uh, particularly Omai and First Wave, and we hope that what we've started, again, we really have built a bridge, that these will be connections that we will continue to nurture and support. Oh, yeah. On his grand finale, this is what we do when your wish right out my alley. Uh, uh, I just clap your hands, everybody, and everybody clap your hands up to the people in the back. Clap your hands. To me, the big thing that I've been able to get from it is this idea that your art is only as important as you make it. Um, and he talked about, well, in order to become the artist and musician that he wanted to be, he had to commit to it and commit to himself. That's something that I've really valued. I learned what it looks like to believe in yourself as an artist. It's really clear to me that his greatness isn't an accident. Every day in class, when we work together, his spirit is, is art in itself. I think that we brought a little bit of the warmth to our country. Because your winter is going good.